Hello everybody, I'm Vidi and I'm here with Mai. Hi everyone, today we're going to review this applet called Coordinates and Graphing. It can be found at this website, kent.school.co.uk, and you can find the rest of the link below. It is completely free of cost and accessible to the public from any internet connected computer. We are reviewing this applet because we felt this technology provides teachers and students with extended opportunities for graphical exploration, which promotes conceptual understanding of functions. This is in line with the Common Core Standards for Mathematical Practice number 5, Use of Appropriate Tools Strategically, and number 6, Attend to Precision. It also aligns with the Common Core Content Standard for Algebra 1 functions, which asks them to define, evaluate, and compare functions. Let's start with the grid setting tab. As you can see, this applet allows you to set your grid and axis to meet the needs of your activity. For our activity, we are going to leave this just the way it is. Next, in the Update Delete Coordinate tab, you can plot points. Let's say you want to start by plotting the point 1, 5. You click your cursor at 1, 5, but as you can see, the table on the right shows you that my point was not plotted exactly. It was actually at 0.9,5. This applet lets you correct your desired point. All you have to do is highlight the value that needs to be changed, replace it, and then click on Update Point. This will automatically correct the position of your point. One activity you can use for this tab is to have students find the slope of a line through two points. This will help them visualize the slope and understand the slope formula. Once they're done with the activity, students just click on clear all points and they will have a brand new coordinate plane to work with. Let's start graphing. This applet allows you to graph up to five equations at a time. Let's graph 2x plus 3 let's graph another equation 5x plus 8 and let's graph the last one 2x plus 8 One activity that you can do on this tab is have students identify parallel lines and explore the similarities of their equations. They can test it out by using the display option. By unchecking the box, lines can be hidden or be made to reappear. Students can also use this table to find the coordinate points of each line. They can choose which line they want to view by choosing its name here. Once you are done, you can clear all lines and start fresh. The next section, Import Media, is quite exciting. This is where you can relate real-world applications of quadratic functions to your students through preloaded images and videos. We have loaded an image for you to see. Using this function of the applet, you can have students find the quadratic equation that best fits the parabola created by the bridge in the picture. Students can click back to graphing and input their prediction. Let's say negative 0.5 x squared plus 4. As you can see, the equation does not fit the bridge. Students can keep on testing until they find the matching equation. This could also be done using the video option. We pre-uploaded a video of the trajectory of the ping pong ball. Students can replay the video as many times as needed to identify important points that will help them find the best fit equation for the ping pong ball. We hope that you and your students will find this applet useful in understanding and exploring functions. We have created two activities which can be used with this applet. You can find them hyperlinked below this video. Thank you for watching.